All right, all right, uh, Shalom Amakim. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechah Kodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim, you know, that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say Shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say Shalom. You know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness, you know, I say Shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Mommy Camp. And the Lord willing, you know, through spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha Kodash. You know, uh, Adawan Ratazah, you know what I mean? It's Lord willing. No, so Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha Kodash, you know, it's going to be basically on being a watchman unto the house of Israel, man. And constantly watching, all right, and warning our people, all right, of the coming uh, prophecies, man. As our Lord, as our Lord uh, told us to watch as well as pray, and we got to give our people warning. So this is the book of uh, Isaiah fifty-eight. Let's start there. Isaiah chapter fifty-eight, in verse one, it says, "Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show." My people, their transgression in the house of Jacob, their sins. So who is the Lord's people? Are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Also, the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, all right? We ought to, what, lift up our voice as a trumpet, all right? That's why we go out on the highways and byways. We tell our people, hey, repent, all right? Because the Lord is coming back and he's going to kill a lot of people. The scripture says the slain of the Lord is going to be many, all right? We're not supposed to spare your feelings. All right, we're not just tell you the truth. We're supposed to tell you the truth, as it says in the book of, uh, uh, I believe it's Jude. All right, to get you out of that fire, man. This is the book of, um, bear with Jude. So some brothers are gonna come gentle. Some brothers are gonna come forward, man, straight. You know. All right, bear with me. This is a book of. This is the book of, um. Jude chapter 1 in verse well it's only one chapter Jude verse 22 says and some have compassion making a difference yeah some have compassion making a difference you know so some brothers come you know uh because every brother's got we got the same harakak with dash the holy spirit but there's a different brothers got different ways the way they teach all right some and some have compassion making a difference verse 23 and others save with fear Pulling them out of the fire, hated even the spotted garments by the flesh. So some brothers uh, teach, you know, with that um, more boldly, like cursing you out. Which we not, but though we be rude in speech, not according to knowledge, man. I right, basically tell you to repent before it's too late. I right, save him with fear. The Lord said, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. All right. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. All right. So Jake got to hear it. All right. Ultimately, to save their life, and the Lord told us to be watchmen unto the house of Israel and tell them where they're going off at, man. Isaiah chapter sixty-two, and that's our job to get the blood off our hands too, man. All right, because you ain't gonna have no excuse in the day of judgment. Like nobody ain't tell you what the, what was going on, what the Lord said. The Bible, all right, the same Bible that be in your your houses, the same Bible that be in the church that your pastor now not opening, man. All right. Are just up there singing and dancing and bullshitting, man. Isaiah 62 and verse 6 says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And what does a watchman do? He stands on a tower. All right, he watches to see if an enemy comes in. All right. And what he blow the horn. What we tell our people, Jacob's trouble coming. All right. A famine coming. You're not going to be able to eat. All right. Jacob's trouble, you know, the hour of temptation. You're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you have an RFID chip in your body, man. That's how it really is getting. Jake just want to gonna uh, just want to be a, uh, a, a damn demon, you know, just bullshitting all day, man. You know, excuse my language, you know, but you know, that's why the, the Isaiah asked the Lord, "How long? How long shall these people be blind until the cities be wasted, you know, without inhabitants, man?" But hey, we gonna warn you. We are gonna tell you the truth, whether you like it or not, whether you hear forbear, man. Isaiah 62 and verse 6 says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. And we're not going to keep silence. All right. The scripture says, what? Ezekiel chapter 3. 
It says, um, no, Ecclesiastes 3. Ezekiel 3 is good too. It says, to everything there is a season. Ezekiel, I mean, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. So there's all there's a time and place for everything. Verse 7, it says, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. So when a time of speaking? All right, we're not going to hold our peace. All right. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. All right. Isaiah 62 and 6 again says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. That's why these videos is constantly going up, man. You got brothers all over the world, brothers in Australia, brothers in the UK. All right. Majority of the prophets are here in America, Babylon the Great, blowing the trumpet all times at all times of the day. All right. You got brothers in South America, you got brothers in the Caribbean islands. Caribbeans, however you said, however you want to say it, whatever. You got brothers over there in uh, Canada, Hawaii, all right, pushing his word. And we're not keeping silence because we have a job to do. Isaiah 62 and verse 7 says, and give him no rest till he establish until he make until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Saying Jerusalem, we're not a praise in the earth right now. So we're not going to stop until what the Lord returns, man. Lord, when we a part of the elect? This book is Ezekiel chapter 2 In verse 1 it says And he said unto me Son of man stand upon thy feet And I will speak unto thee Which the Lord said this to Ezekiel But ultimately is to us in these times Verse 2 it says And the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me And set me upon my feet And I heard him that spake unto me Verse 3 it says And he said unto me son of man I send thee to the children of Israel To a rebellious nation That have rebelled against me they and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. So our people are rebellious people. They're not going to repent. Only the elect. Verse 4. For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power. Thus says Yahweh Shimon Shai. Verse 5. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. So our people are going to know that a prophet hath been among them. Blowing the trumpet. Let's go to the next chapter. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. So what? We hear what the Lord tell us via the, via the, the book, via the, via the Holy Bible, via our teachers that the Lord set up, the pastors, the prophets, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. And give our people warning. All right. Verse 18 says, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his but his blood will I require thy hand. So if you don't say, I mean, if you don't um, warn him, blow the trumpet, all right, that blood is going to be on you. All right, he's going to die in his sins because he's a wicked demon, a wicked Israelite, all right? But you got to tell them. You say you got to hey, uh, she to say reprove and rebuke with all long suffering doctrine. We got to reprove our people just how we got reproved. We got cut through the spirit when we first came in this truth, man. No, no lineups. No, don't stop eating pork, man. Stop worshiping idols. No, don't be a adulterer. Don't don't be a demon, a murderer. Don't be a thief. Don't be a robber. Don't be a liar. Because those wheels, all that we had those attributes, we had those characteristics in the world. Because nobody told us nothing, man. All right? But now that we have this truth, we walk in the ways of Yahweh, Bashi, Mount Shai. All right? So we tell our people that we repent. Stop celebrating these wicked holidays, man. Mother's Day. What the fuck? What? You, trip say, honor thy father and thy mother. Come on, man. Verse 19, it says, Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So what? We tell our people. All right. And that blood is that blood is off our hand. And that blood is on you because you ain't have no excuse. Just like you tell somebody, hey, man, uh, don't go around that corner, man. You know, just, they, they shoot. There's a, there's a, they about to shoot. There's a shootout. No, well, whatever. Right, and you go around the corner and get shot up. All right. There's a, somebody doing a drive by shooting, whatever. Someone told you, 
all right, to, to not go there, but you still win. That's on you, man. All right. That's on you. Jupiter says, Joel chapter two, I believe. Joel chapter two, verse one. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Zion, going back to the Hebrew word, to Zion, meaning monument, talking about Israel. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Warn our people. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh. For it is nigh at hand. So the day of the Lord is coming, man. All right. And you got to sing the right song. You got you to gotta do the right noise, man. Should we talk about an uncertain, uncertain, uncertain sound? This book of 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 14. First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 7. It says, In even things without life given sound, whether in it's like I'm reading, in even in even things without life given giving sound, either it's like whether pipe or heart, except they give a distinction in the sounds, how shall it be known what is pipe or heart? Let's read it in the NLT. Even lifeless instruments like the flute of the heart must play the notes clearly or no one will recognize the melody because why we, in our we have we have feast days we blow the horns different uh, feast days blow the horn in the new moon all right which the uh which the sabbath is coming in, in tonight all right you got to know what sound all right there's different uh, sounds that you prepare people so they can understand what you're saying just how we, we we have a clear message, repent or die. All right. The Lord said he's coming as a thief in the night. When they say peace and safety, and sudden destruction. The Lord gave us signs, floods, warning, uh, floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, famine, pestilence, wars, rumors of wars. All right. So we give him a clear sound that you can understand. All right. But if we said something else, we say smooth things, which which our people like to hear smooth things. That's not a clear. You 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 uh you missing notes. All right, like you in the band. All right, you got a guitar player or a trumpet player. Let's say a trumpet player or or uh, what's that? What's uh the jazz? What they use? Brother Jeremiah got one. I forgot. Saxophone. Yeah, you got a saxophone, man. All right, if you make an uncertain sound, all right, it's gonna sound bad. All right, just how what you you certain you certain. There's a war coming and you you blowing the trumpet of feast. All right. They you're not gonna the people not gonna be prepared. Verse 8, it says, For if the trumpet gives an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? All right, so you gotta get the sound, all right, that Yahweh Bashimah Shah told us that speak unto my people the words of prophecy, which he will put in his mouth. We'll put in our mouth, said the Lord. All right, so we're watchmen to get the blood off our hand. And our people they're not gonna have an excuse. Let's get this. I'll end off on this quick lesson. Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 33. Actually, let me get this. this is, oh, okay. Let me get this. Ezekiel 33 and verse 30. Also, thou son of men, the children of the children of thy people are talking, are still, still are talking against thee by the walls. And then the doors and the of the houses and speak. One to another, everyone to his brother saying, come, I pray you and I pray you and hear what is the word that coming from the Lord. So our people, you know, they talk, they, say, God, they walk past the camp, hey, what's up? seeing what you're saying. They on the Internet, logging onto your page, all on the comment board. You know, listen to what brother's saying. All right. Different topics. They love to talk, listen to the topics about the black woman or the woman. All right. For entertainment. Basically, our people think this truth is entertainment. Verse 31, and they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they would not do them. Yeah, they hear, but they're not, they're not, they're not uh following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Al They they're 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 uh hearers of the words. That's why the Lord said, be a doer of the word, not just a hearer. It says, but they would not do them, for with their mouth they show much love, but with their heart go with after their covetousness. I go at the money. Verse 32, and lo, thou art unto them. Thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument, for they hear thy words, but they would not do them, man. All right. 
they think it's entertainment. Oh, just that's how you go to you go out, you know, downtown or something. You hear you hear the band, you hear like a live band. You know, they sit there, you listen to it, you know, you, you understand it. Like uh, you groove into it, you you chilling. That's how our people think this truth is. The fucking entertainment. Nah, but you know, we're telling you that the time of Jacob Shrubber, a time like never before is coming. People our our people just think it's like a fucking play or something. He's a live jazz band just out there. Not not understanding that what judgment is coming. Fire. 200 million nuclear warheads going to hit this place, man. All right. Trip said we have piped unto you, but you have not danced. All right. What? Where shall I liken this generation? A man, a man on the market in the marketplace piping to his fellows. All right. The new song. Tell our people the new song. Repent, man. We Israel. We about to rule with our Lord. Yahweh shall returns, man. Verse 33, Ezekiel 33 and 33 says, And when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among you. You're going to know that those brothers, the true brothers, the true holy men of, of Israel, of Yahweh, Bashim, all right, was amongst you. And we was telling you, man, whether you liked it or not, whether you liked it, the message or not. All right. We was trying to help you. All right. They gonna know in that day, and it's what is gonna be too late, man. So, Lord, winning this lesson was edifying, man. And this is only for the true Akim, man, the true brothers, because the Lord is not dealing with all Israel, because they're rebellious house, as we just read. All right, so Lord, winning this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Recha Kodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders. At Great Millstone was Ruba, and I want to give a peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. A hey, Shalom Akim, a hey, keep pushing, a hey, and keep enduring, man. Shalom.